Hey, what's up, everybody? You may saw my previous video of that ultrasonic transducer that I took apart. Here's what it looks actually inside. We got a lot of lot of cables, wires, and there's actually a very long piezoelectric crystal on the front. There are a lot of them. So there you can see there's one connection goes up here, the other goes down here, and it repeats like that all the way. You can see here there are a lot of lot of connections on the top here. Same with this side. Lot of connections. There's a ton of wire wrapped around. But this is not what the video is going to be about. This video will be about this Electrotom 400. That's what it is. It's a high voltage, high frequency flesh welder. Yes, this actually welds flesh and skin together. It's from the, one of the surgery rooms from the hospital, they didn't need it anymore. And yes, it's used to stop bleeding and similar things and weld skin together and flesh and everything. So there you got the electrotomy, don't know what that is, but there's some high voltage coming out. And we got coagulation. And here we got bicoagulation. You have it actually something similar like tweezers to do that has its own foot pedal and stuff and here I have connected in the foot pedals they look like this yes let's turn it on the earth pad isn't plugged in so I'm going to do that just a piece of metal rod and it turns on quite nicely. Okay, so I can actually change the settings. You maybe can hear that. It's like it's a like a variac inside it. Yes, let's test it. Yes, banana plug connects in there quite nicely. And here's an extremely safe chicken stick. Yes, let's test electrotomy. So I can actually change the settings here as well. And yes, let's begin with this one. This is the most powerful one. Look at that, it's like a TIG welder. Cranking up the power. Look at that. It's maybe, maybe one, one and a half kilovolts. That's a lot of power. You don't want to touch that. Some different settings. Next setting. Uh, maybe that one. Yes, 
It melts my screwdriver. It may be good to weld stuff with it. Like a little TIG welder. Let's test coagulation. This is a bit more high voltage. I see the arc begins like one and a half millimeters away from the rod. I don't need to touch the rod. Let's test the next setting. Yes, that's high voltage. That's just high voltage. Yes, there's high frequency output. It's not DC, it's high frequency AC. It ruined my screwdriver. Let's take it apart and have a look inside. I don't really want to take it apart completely. Just take the lid off and let's have a look what's inside. I don't want to mess around inside it. I don't. I just want to keep it like a whole unit. But the first thing I saw in here was this huge heat sinks, especially that one. That's for the high current switching. And those here for some power supply. There's a switch mode power supply right here. That feeds the high voltage. There's a high voltage power supply here. And there's a high current power supply. It's like a TIG welder. High voltage pulse to trigger the high current so high current can flow. I make an arc. There's a little switch mode power supply here for the logics. There's a lot of logic stuff happening on the front here. And there's some logic stuff in those boards as well. But I think those logic systems drives with this power supply over here instead. Huge capacitor. Some current choke there. Yes, let's have a look from the other side. And here you can see it from the top, the three heat sinks with some transistors on it. Those here are diodes for this power supply, and those are driving transistors. Big capacitor here, high voltage. There is a conventional transformer in there, iron core transformer. And on the background here you can see those two transformers for the high current. And here's a view from the other side. A lot of logic chips in there. And over here you can see three potentiometers. That one, that one and that one. They are motor driven. There were no IC potentiometers on that time. And there's a switch mode power supply for the logics. And in there, there's another transformer looking thing. That's the choke for the output. Some transistors. And some small components all around the place. There are 12 different circuit boards in this thing. And notice I didn't calculate the display circuit boards that are back here. I just calculated all the circuit boards in there, and this big motherboard, and that little output board. So there are a lot of circuit boards in this little unit. So there must have been a lot of, lot of engineering going into this unit. And I just looked around on the internet and just found out that these things cost around thousand dollars used ones not new ones used for thousand dollars so they're pretty expensive stuff even when they're used so that's why i just want to keep this as a whole unit and use it like a welder or something i just need to found find some inert gas and there you have it a tig welder
this thing doesn't have any fans they're just sealed up tightly so I think I don't I can't actually use it for longer times but it had big heat sinks yes 890 volt amps 350 watts and 500 ohms 50 watts 100 ohms strange more resistance more current more power no that's not how it works 0 0.5 megahertz on the output that's 10 or 30 seconds no 10 30 watts and it's maybe made in 92 or 1990 it's made in Germany and no checks or calibrations made on this unit and it's come came from surgery room 2 and just for if you are interested 4 amp slow fuse and there's the earth tap all medical equipment has this earth tap on them so there you have it electro home 400 thanks for watching